Hey, today I thought I would work on another integral. We have one here. This one's from MIT 2020, problem number 20. We have the integral from zero to infinity of x to the fifth e to the minus x to the fourth dx. And I think the first thing I wanna notice with this is just the similarity to this problem compared to the Gaussian integral. Okay, we have our Gaussian integral over here on the right and we just notice and when our bounds are minus infinity to infinity, we're gonna have square root of pi on this. The second formula is really just the same thing. It's derived from this. It comes from the fact that this is an even function. And so you can make that adjustment. You could change the bounds to this and have a two in front, but then when you divide by the two, you get square root of pi over two. And what I wanna focus on is actually this second formula because notice the bounds are exactly what we have here. Now in our integral, it's definitely a little different, right? We've got this x to the fifth out front. And the strategy I want to take with this is I think just to use substitution and some algebra to manipulate this, to get this to look or to use this form somehow. And if we can get this into this form, then we already have basically part of our answer right here. So let's see how this is going to work. So to start, what I want to do is make a u substitution. I'm going to call my u equal to x squared. Just noticing that if I do that, u squared is going to be our x to the fourth. So we got a nice substitution for our exponent there. So now we'll take a derivative and for du, we're going to, derivative of this is going to be 2x dx. And before I actually do the substitution, I'm just going to set this up so it's going to make it real easy for myself. So we'll write, so we'll just notice here again on this exponent, x to the fourth is x squared squared. I'm going to create this 2x dx over here because that's my du. And so that we don't change it, this over here is going to be just one half x to the fourth, noticing when we multiply x, half x to the fourth times 2x, we get back our x to the fifth. Then now I can make my substitution. So plugging infinity in for x squared, we're going to have just infinity, and plugging in zero, we'll have zero. Then next, we'll have our one half. Our x to the fourth we know is u squared. Okay, and then we're going to have e minus, this is u, so we're going to have a minus u squared du. Okay, so what I'm going to do on this, we're going to do integration by parts, and we're going to use the di method. Okay, so I've set up my tabular integration table over here on the right. Now, one thing, I kind of skipped a step, sorry about that. What I did was notice minus one fourth u times minus two u is equal to half u squared. So I split that up as I want, I want this piece to help me integrate. So I specifically created the minus two u, knowing that the derivative of minus u squared is minus two u. Okay, so let's go through this. So then we'll differentiate this, and that's gonna be minus one fourth here. The integral over here is going to be just e to the minus u squared. And then from here, this diagonal is going to be part of our solution. And then this row here, this is going to be another integral. So let's see what we have. We're going to have minus one fourth u e to the minus u squared. This is going to be evaluated from zero to infinity. And here the minus times minus is going to cancel. And we're going to have an integral. We're gonna have one fourth in front, and we're gonna have from zero to infinity, e to the minus u squared du. And then the beauty of this is, this was the formula we had on the board earlier. This is actually the Gaussian integral, okay, from zero to infinity. So this value we had found earlier was square root of pi over two. So we have part of our solution right here. But what about this piece over here? So even though we were plugging infinity in for u, this this exponential term is growing much faster. So the first piece is going to zero. And then when we plug a zero in here, that second piece is clearly going to zero. So this whole thing is actually zero and that's gonna simplify it to just this piece over here. So for our final solution, we're just multiplying square root of pi over two times one fourth and we get square root of pi over eight. That's it, thought that was a very interesting problem today. And if you want to check out more like this, I have a bunch of problems like this. I did a quiz recently on Gaussian integrals. I'll provide a link in the description if you want to do some more of these. And we'll stop it there. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.